Today I'm going to show you how to make homemade frying batter. I really love frying things at home. Whether it's okra or fritters or even apples, there are so many different things you can fry once you make your own homemade batter at home. And it only takes a few steps. To get started, you'll want a small mixing bowl. Then I'm going to add a half a cup of flour. You could use whole wheat flour or white flour, even a gluten-free baking mix, whichever your favorite flour is. Then I'm going to add a half a cup of milk. You could use regular milk, soy milk, whatever your favorite milk is. Then I'm going to add an egg and some seasoning. Today I'm going to do some salt and pepper because I'm making a savory batter. If you wanted to fry something sweet like fruit or a sweet fritter, add a little cinnamon or nutmeg instead because that will make your homemade batter even extra delicious. And a little bit of salt. And now I'm just going to whisk everything together until smooth. When doing your homemade batter, you want to make sure to get most of the lumps out. Once the lumps are gone and everything is blended together perfectly, it is ready for frying. This is Mariko showing you how to make homemade batter for frying. Enjoy. 